whatever. I've got so many things I got to say to you. On the pod? Yeah, I guess. Well then, hello boys, hello girls, and hello non-binary folks. Hello. Hello. And welcome back to the, that's right, officially Forbes magazine ranked, not really, not really, Ah. don't check this. (laughs) <laughs> judgiest place on the internet my name is josh my name is rick and my name is christian and we are the, the judges back and bluer back than ever bluer whoa we are it's all oops all blue we blew it i'm blue diamond can you fix our teddy bear over there ah yeah sorry i was messing around in the studio earlier our sweet little teddy bear what did we name him her pb them pb oh piss baby got it pb's very good Got it. It kind of reminds me of, you know the name of it. Instead of Piss Baby, it's Piss Bear. Pooh Bear? No. You know the uh, name of it. Adventure Paddington Time? Bear? No. Adventure Time? No, he knows the name of it. Well, fuck me, I guess. Of that bear? No, of the thing I'm thinking of. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, no, I do. The Otters, PB&J, the TV show? You gotta use our noodle. What was that show called? Uh... I don't know. Was it just PB and J? Maybe. Do you know it? I guess we'll never know. PB and J otter, and then they had. Was it P and B and then J? There's three otters. One of them was a baby. One was purple, like like jelly, jelly. and one was brown, like, like peanut PB. butter. And you had to put on your uh, your, like your thinking cap, or you had to use your noodle. Use your noodle. Was that? Yeah. What do we got? It's PB and J otter. That's the name of the show. Yeah. Terrible name for a show. 1999. Great name for 1999, actually. That's actually (laughs) cutting edge. All right, Ricky, what do you got to tell me? Okay. At the top. First off the top, we have a new saying. Okay. Is that Aurora? Hi, Aurora. Aurora. Can I, uh, Aurora, can I just say that your little office looks so dang cute? It's incredible. I love it, and I'm very jealous. Dance with me. (laughs) Okay. Anyway, so I was texting my friend Courtney the other day, and... Whatever we're talking about, mental breakdown. She called it a menti bee. A menti bee? Yeah. Somebody came into the Discord and said a, a long time pisser, uh, first time dissy joiner. Oh. I don't, I don't like, listen, I know that that's our brand. Menti bee sounds like. Menti it, bee sounds like a judgy's brand. I hate it. And I hate dissy for Discord. I hate dissy. But you call it a pandy for the pandemic. I didn't really. I still Editor, call it roll back the tapes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's shit. <laughs> what, uh, hey, what about blowmos? Let's bring back the blowmo love. Yeah, I don't even remember what that was for. Bloody, Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the. <gasps> yeah, I, I do love them. What, and what, a, uh, a Mimi. A Mimi. Of course. Yes, but yeah, um, uh, a Menti B is now in my a repertoire. Menti a Menti B that was so, meant to be. W- that we realize, we're making realize, that a shirt. Realize. Aurora, <laughs> write that down. <laughs> do you? Do you use Menti B when you're actually having a Menti B, or is this a like so the actu- more politically the correct way to be like, I'm gonna kill myself? You're like, I'm about to have a Menti B right now. <laughs> I don't know. You're this about to make button. me have a Menti B. <laughs> so in the context of the text messages, we're talking about something, she's freaking out about something. Yeah, I made classic Courtney. Dude, classic not really, Courtney. but <laughs> sure. <laughs> have you even met Courtney yet? When I meet, when I see Courtney, I think Menti B. <laughs> oh my God, no! Sorry, Maddie anyway. B. Her bre- her breath is always fresh. I always think she's a minty B about to have a Menti B. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Anyway, I swear to God. Anyways, I said something to like pull her out of it, and she was like, "Girl, you just saved me from having a Menti B." And I was like, "A Menti B? Yeah. Fuck yeah." I'm keeping I, that. I'm. I gotta. I hate how quickly it grew out of me. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> yeah. Menti B is pretty good. Yeah. I'm is. obsessed with it. Okay. I too am obsessed with Menti B's. Do you want my um? <gasps> go tell uh, me. The, tell me. Oh the my god. Shirt's the shirt's just gonna be the MTV logo, but it's gonna <gasps> be Menti B. Yeah. And then underneath was meant to be. It's gonna be really hard to squeeze that into three letters. Yeah, it really is. Mm, It'll be the we'll be MTV be it. astronaut. Moon Man? Yeah. Okay. But, you know, we've got MTV. Yeah. We could just do M T B. B. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. So that's three letters. Nobody nobody do this. We're doing this. This is our thing. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. Real folks. I'm fucking doing it. You know what we're doing right now, Erica? Do you have more to tell me? 
yeah i've got a whole thing i gotta tell you okay number two but it's fun it's kind of long so if you want to we can talk about it later if you want okay Titus so wow. possibly. Maybe it'll be on the bonus wow, episode. Wow, I didn't want to know. I just, want to know. Maybe on the bonus episode. We'll talk about it on patreon.com slash judges pod. Maybe it'll be in the circle church. Oh, a I weekly really... bonus episode. Guys, I'm telling you, I had such a good button for this one. We'll get it next okay. two weeks from now. You know what we're getting right now, though? That we actually right got months ago is mail. So here's a letter. Thank you. I didn't pre-open them. But if you want to send us mail, go ahead and do that. P.O. Box 58, Ottawa, Illinois, 61350. And you can be... One of the few, I'll say few listeners, yeah. that maybe potentially gets their name read on the show and sends us cool oh, stuff. Oh, check this out. To, oh, yeah. I love that. It's got a wow. pull tab. Whoa, Whoa, the pull tab's nutty. Isn't that crazy? I need to see it. Okay. Hold it so we can all see it. Well, I want you to see it, too. Well, how am I supposed to hold it? I don't then, know. Joshua? Figure it out. Break physics. Okay. Are we ready? I'm pulling. I'm not pulling. I'm pulling. It just fucking explodes. Oh, well, that well, was, that was anti- anti- oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> For all you listeners, it was just a piece of paper moving. We thought it was going to be like uh, a picture book kind of movement thing. I was thinking you pull it and just like inflates. Like it was yeah. going to blow up into like an emergency rack. I also thought that and I was excited about it. This says, please use our names. Smiley face, Emily and drumroll, please. Christian. Whoa. Yuck, you <laughs> bad name. Hello, judges. Hello. Hello. We start with the lore. Uh-oh. Rex. I saw a TikTok of yours back in January 2022 okay. and binged every episode in order while painting my kitchen and living room. Bold. I, a bold color? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bold to start from the beginning. I'll, I was I'll always say it. immediately hooked and have been an avid fan ever since. I don't know. Do you think if you listen to the beginning... It- I feel like starting from the beginning, guess, you see the roots. I guess. And it's like you either are on board or you're not That's on board. That's true, I guess. Like, if you start from the beginning, like you're a real one. Like, yeah. you appreciate the, the essence of the show. Yeah. yeah. Whereas Sometimes. if you start from the, like, now, and then you're like, oh, I'll go back and check the old catalog. It's like, I'm not watching this shit. You get back to the old <laughs> one, it's like, where's the stories? What's going on here? Yes. Uh, why is Erica so angry all the time? <laughs> I couldn't help but notice that me and Erica are living parallel lives and have a ton of things in common. Okay. We both have E names with uncommon spellings. I okay. beg to differ that E R I K A is the correct spelling. The correct spelling. But it's not common. It should be. It's the correct spelling. I feel one. like I see more K A's than I see C A's anymore. Why? Maybe. Can I guess the Emily spelling? Yes. E M I L E E. Yes. Yeah. Did you see it? No. It's just lying. He's but lying. The, He's how many cheating. other ways there is to spell Emily? The E M M A L E I G H. The 2008 way. The, the made the, up name. Oh, first of all, don't talk shit because that's how our niece spells her name. L E I G H. That's her middle name technically, but it's Emily. Anyway. Well, I'm judging their parents, not her. So you're judging my sister in law? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Kim, I know you listen. No, not Kim. I like Kim. <laughs> Uh, both have uncommon spellings. We both married tall, bearded men with named Christian. He wasn't bearded at the time. What the? Huh? At true. the time of the wedding? I mean, pretty much up until you did the share. podcast. <laughs> both of our Christians, struggle is crossed out, are improving their reading out loud skills. Thank and you. we are so proud of both of them. Thank you. <laughs> we both worked slash work for health departments. I'm a sanitarian and got a few chuckles out of your old work stories. Congrats on escaping pl- public health. Oh, phenomenal send, penmanship. Send me. What does that have to do with it? Just phenomenal penmanship. Oh, you just saw a pe- I thought that had to do with like her being a sanitarian. I was like, bro. No. No, I wasn't like typical oh. <laughs> sanitarian handwriting over there. I can't believe you can write good even though you have a, such a shitty job. <laughs> just send me in your, your fun sanitarian stories because I've got lots which i'm sure i said already on the pod anyway and i'm sure many other things so thanks to all three of you for keeping it real relatable and hilarious thanks for being there for paperwork days and road trips josh keep those puns rolling Thank you, you don't get enough love in mail time you keep That's, the podcast balanced one of the pillars you might say holding <laughs> up the pod or else it yeah. would crumble love you all emily and christian P.S. I thought about sending fun Michigan things, but you guys are so close. There's probably not much that you can't also get here or get there. Isn't that isn't the Midwest fun? Tis. 
Although I haven't been to Michigan yet. Michigan's so pretty. Aurora and I have gone there two anniversary trips in a row, so it's very, very pretty on the West Coast. We oh, haven't look been at to the him. East Coast yet. He's got a way better beard than yeah, you. Yeah, he can grow a much better beard than me. Um, together with their parents, Emily and Christian are inviting us to an evening of desserts, drinks, and dancing. Oops, but not okay. dinner. Not dinner. We missed it by a whole month. Fuck. And that's in Michigan oh. on August 19th. This, I feel like this was an afterthought. That's fine. Since you sent it well, on it, August 8th. Isn't that one of those... Isn't that the whole origin, though? It was like... If you oh, have yes. extras, we ordered send your too extras. Many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, why did you think we just keep getting wedding invites? I mean, yeah, that's a good point. What, how many? What time are we on the board? Uh, Eleven. How tight of an episode do we need to have? Uh, because this loose. is a this nice is a very loose. big package. Let's say that for episode. Let's say for the next. You're one. right. We are doing one. We are recording twice today. It's a very good point. Thank you. Because this is sick. It's tight. So a little preview. It's uh. It's Sick. from a website called The Left Fist, Ooh. and the entire time I was like, oh, it's like leftist, I get it, and it, and I thought it was just funny, but it is legit like leftist like pins and shit. Oh, so fuck like yeah. That. It's actually sick, so we do need to open that today, because I need those in my life. Yes, I, agreed. Okay. Daddy needs that. But we don't just mm. open up. Don't. Mm. Yeah. Hey, bud. Mm. Stop. I'm going to have a mentee he, <laughs> <laughs> he is a daddy, unfortunately. That's true. I, I do call him daddy quite often now, and uh, not in a fun way. Oh. Okay. I was like, why now? But now I understand you're using it in the proper term. Correct. Yeah. Olsen, guess who's home? It's daddy. Father. It's, it's your parental figure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I do own way more dad merch than you, though. That's true. I'm that kind of like a, da- like a dad Taurus. But you also own more grandpa merch than That's me true. or my father, who's a grandpa. True. Yeah. That's very true. Every time I got that new crew neck, it says, uh, what's it say? Like, Grandpa time. A, or a something? TGIF, this grandpa's fantastic. Mm. Yeah. Grandpa time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I just get just Grandpa letters, time. Like, grandpa with the judges. Uh, I've, I've worn it out in public like maybe two or three times. The first time I wore it, I was going to the bank to do our payroll. and Typical the, grandpa hangout spot. I, I mean, it kind is. Kind of. It's always old people in there. And the the teller was like doing my stuff, and she like kept looking at me, and like typing and looking at me. And she just goes, "I have to ask, are you actually a grandpa?" <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what an insane thing to are ask! Because what if I was? Yeah, <laughs> like, like hot grandpa then. Yeah, I had a baby when I was twelve, and then that baby had a baby when they were twelve. Don't judge me or my life. Very possible. It's possible. It's um, possible. And yeah, I'm 24 if you do the math. But yeah, it's just so funny. It's like, what a bold thing to just... It's like, no, obviously I'm not. I mean, my, my mom is a grandma at 45. 44. Yeah, I'm just 15 years younger than that still. Um, yeah. Josh, I guess <laughs> it's, this really just kind of falls on you to not understand that boomers don't get satire. Yeah, I well, yeah. Or, the person was probably Gen X or yeah. Still, even worse. I'm just, no. I'm just kidding. I don't this is this is as bad as the Taylor Swift. Tip. We gotta move on. <laughs> yeah, what are We're, we moving on to? Story. That's right, because we don't just give great takes on this podcast. We also podcast on this podcast, and what that entails is us going online, finding silly little stories, and sometimes Old the man pissy does that. The piss, the legend does that. <laughs> great way to First, start this off. What? The, it's on brand. It's from r slash burp. Actually. How about that? Now, that's a, that is a great way to start us off. Do you think that's an actual subreddit? All in r slash burp. It, it has to be. The first story comes in from Macy. You that's can say my name. The department, department <laughs> store. That the. I'm just saying. I think I got us an in if we're ready for Thanksgiving. Oh fuck! Could you imagine a giant? Uh, Judgy's Judgy's balloon? balloon? Oh, hell yeah. Garbage the cat. Yes. Hi, Judge. Hey, uh, Judgy's. Hello. Let me, let me correct myself. They didn't say hi. They said, hey, I went in a little <laughs> too hot. Hey, Judgy's. Hello. Found these Reddit stories from the same user on the accounting subreddit. Ooh. Whoop. Whoop. And thought y'all would enjoy them. I'm sending both because they kind of go together, and I'm including the links and screenshots. Thank you. Oh, we love that. I listen to y'all while I work, and it makes waking up on Mondays way easier. Thank y'all. Thanks, Macy. Macy. Thanks, Macy. Um, real quick, if you get sent screenshots, do you even go to the link? I don't. I don't. Really? I just look at the screenshots. 
Of I, course. Yeah. I'm lazy. What the hell? Why is that lazy? Because I feel like, you know, you could scroll through the comments and if there's like a great comment, no. you can pop that in there. But uh, I'm not a comment guy. Or I'm you could get updates guy. from the comments too. Yeah, that is something I do miss a lot. Like personally, it's like I'll only read the screenshots and people are like, you missed the update. I'm like, well, yeah, you didn't screenshot I, the update. <laughs> I only read the comments if I get a screenshot because I'm like, the top comment's always at the very bottom of the screenshot. Sure. I always click on the link. And then if it's deleted, then I go back to the screenshot. R slash accounting. I got scolded because I farted in my office. Hmm. My office is connected to my boss's office, mm. meaning she has to walk through my office just to get into hers or to leave hers. Yesterday, she wasn't in the room for over 30 minutes, and I had to fart, so I did it. When the, the smell lasted 30 minutes? He's just thinking. She's been gone for a while yeah. and probably in the clear. They've been gone for 30 minutes. He's like, oh, she's not coming back anytime soon. Uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. All of her meetings are an hour long, so I got to have 30 minutes left, right? All right. Right? Nope. Might have been one of the worst smelling farts I've had in a while, and it just lingered, and it lingered. You have to. And it lingered forever, it seemed like. There's no windows in this, and it's a tiny office. And after 10 minutes later, she came in to go to her office and stops to ask me, what's that smell? Oh, come on. She knows what the smell is. Yeah. I laugh it off and say she doesn't want to know. Weird. Implying that I was fart that it was a fart. Just that's do- weird. Does that imply that though? You don't hey, you don't wanna know. I've been I say that every time I fart. What what do you say? Yo, you don't even wanna know. Nobody's even asking you anything. Just you, you don't, don't even want to know. know. <laughs> I mean the proper response would just be like, I don't smell anything. You gaslight them. From <laughs> you smelt your gas. it. You dealt it. The ultimate gas gaslighting. Gaslighting. Holy shit! Yeah. I want to boo it. I, I want to, but then I also it, wasn't even it was a pretty good joke. It wasn't even a joke. It was just an observation. Well, I've booed. I've booed you for less, to be honest. That's true. She kept inquiring about it, so I told her straight up. I farted. Okay. She seemed to get really angry. Why would said she that, keep inquiring about it? Yeah, this whole this whole situation stinks. It reeks, brother. It reeks of something suspicious. Good Can joke. you guys tell that Christian got the the soundboard, soundboard back? back. <laughs> so we're back where it belongs. Uh, she got really angry and said that I can't be doing things like that, and that she has to work in this office too. I continued to laugh because I've never seen someone get so worked up over a fart before. That's fair. This morning she comes in and the first thing she says to me is, we have to talk about what happened yesterday. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm sitting there thinking like, what the fuck happened yesterday? I didn't even think a fart was still on her mind. She then proceeded- really lingered, <laughs> bud. <laughs> she then proceeded to scold me for five minutes for a fart that happened yesterday. And even went as far to say that she would have to send me home if it ever happened again. Went as fart to say. say. Ricky is on one tonight. Okay, say, boys. (laughs) That's right. That's right. Thank you. Is this an overreaction or am I being an asshole about this? I think it's an overreaction. I mean, I get it. In terms of, like, if you have a shared space. Mm -hmm. Like, I understand farting is natural. I'm sorry if this makes me too much of, like, a millennial. I can't ever get on board with the, like, it's a body function. Therefore, you if you fart, then people can't get mad at you about it. It's like, I'm sorry. There's a time and place. Does this make me ableist? I don't know. I just think, hey, figure it out. Don't fart in shared spaces. However. Makes you an a-hole. One fart? List. One fart? (laughs) I made the A-list? A whole list. Are we a whole list celebrities? Uh, I one fart one time is wild to get this to blow upset up on. about. Yeah, it, it had to be a stanky fart. I, I would never confront somebody over one fart. I would maybe laugh about it and be like, "Dude, that sucks." But if now if you're farting like every day and I'm sharing a space with you, I'm gonna be pissed. Here's what you don't take into account here, Josh. You're coming from a man's perspective. This woman has been working in a cold office all day. She says, can you turn up the temperature just one time? No, no, no one even mm. fucking budges. And then Kyle's in here fucking ripping ass. <laughs> and I just have to deal with that now. Are you fucking kidding it me? Smells like monster. And yeah. Drywall. Oh. As oh. The one time they turn up the temperature, <laughs> he farts. And now it's fucking cooking in there. It's baking in there. Are you? And it makes it's it my longer. problem. Yeah. You have to let it linger. Do you it's have just to? fucked up. 
you know? Yeah. I get it. I get it. I also feel that, I, I don't know, I, I think that she's overreacting to an extent. To bring it up the next day, like, that's one of those things that you talk about it as it's happening, as, you know, the moment's there, and mm-hmm. then you fucking move on. Yeah. That's what I mean. Is like, if it becomes a thing. Yeah. If every time I walked into my office... <clears throat> Your if every t- if every time I walked to my office it smelled like a fresh fart, I would say something. Yeah, but for one time, I mean, come on, and like to inquire, be like, tell me what it was, mm-hmm. tell me what it was. I mean, to be fair, that's kind of on him too to be like, you don't want to know. Do I you think he was giggling a little bit. He has to be giggling a little bit. <laughs> well, he said he was laughing the whole time. Like, oh yeah, and this is a little bit on him to where it's like, why are you hiding it? That makes it more suspicious. Yeah. I would just, I can't wait to hear this episode back to see if Aurora's laugh was caught on the mic. Mm, probably she, so. She's so. in the next room. And it's just like old times. It feels like old times. That's true. Sending somebody home from work because of farts, is that like a, some kind of like, you get like a HR work cop, Yeah. <laughs> That's like a workman's rights law. Like, I bet they could argue it. Not in that will state. Like a, tox- a toxic environment. Yeah, but we're also a pro-union state, so... Unionized? Because we need more farts in no, the No, I'm office. saying that if you are in a union, you could call your union rep and be like, yeah. this lady is discriminating me against me for my bodily functions. Yeah. And before I'm when I said, maybe this good. makes me ableist or whatever, and I was like, yeah. oh, if you start farting, of, I'm pissed. I guess I'm, I'm union busting only pro-fart unions. Does that make wow. sense? There was a girl that I worked with that had a medical condition, I, I guess, where she <clears throat> burped all the time. Yeah just like in all the conversations would just Mm -hmm. she'd say oh like excuse me do we got a name for the medical condition i i'm assuming gastric reflux okay i'm just wondering uh, for a friend honestly i guess she burped way more than you do what the hell now it's a competition but hers never stank like yours do what the hell (laughs) very stinky burps i'm concerned for you yeah anyway fucked up it is fucked up. It's fucking weird. I don't know what to tell you. But like she has a medical condition and I can't like be mad yeah, at her yeah, about so it. But, but it's still it's still annoying. It's like yeah. we're mid conversation. There's a bleh. Yeah. Like, it's definitely different. Yeah. Did she get funny with it? Because sometimes no. I burp and I like to get funny with it. <laughs> oh, like <laughs> throughout the belch out your act like what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> throughout the day, just restart alphabet, just like <laughs> What? What was that? Oh, sorry. I'm on F today. Oh my god r slash accounting we're moving on guys how long is too long to ho- mm-hmm. compose ourselves we got yes. a little too goofy with it this is, is this is feeling like a silly goofy episode how long is too long to take a shit in the office important question honestly if i'm gonna be completely like uh, honest here too long is probably 15 minutes oh, i was gonna go 10 yeah, I think that ten to fifteen minute window is Jesus right. Jesus Christ! Okay, now bootlickers. This isn't me as a pro corporation. This is me like somebody else needs to use that restroom. Yeah, okay. I fuck it. That's always I, my biggest thing is like waiting in a bathroom and going back and checking it every five minutes. Like, how are you still in there? I'm also thinking that if I'm in here any longer, they're gonna know that I'm shitting. Mm. Really? And they do. Yeah. Well, I want them to know I'm shitting. <laughs> I don't want them to know that I'm shitting because I, I'm a chronic toilet clogger and I don't want anyone to know that it was me if I clogged CTC, the toilet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. TTC. CTC. Chronic toilet yeah, clogger. Yeah. 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 That's what I said. Totally. <laughs> I'm back once again with another odd accounting post. These are accounting posts. <laughs> I, I feel like he's just like, I'm, I'm hijacking this subreddit. <laughs> These are my people. I already have an idea of what the replies are going to be, but here we go. Now, let's just say this too. I already had to commute to work over 30 minutes to and from work. Wow. Too I always fun. get all of my work done regardless of the circumstances, even if I have to stay late. Okay. And I get in trouble if I'm late, so I can't take extra poop time. Mm-hmm. So I usually have to poop in the morning, and then I try to wake up somewhat earlier to let out before work but I usually don't get to finish and have to get ready for work and leave. That means you need to wake up earlier. Christian, this is you, bud. Is this you? No. Why are you posting an r slash account? So that he doesn't get caught, I guess? (laughs) So naturally, after getting to work and setting in, I go poop again. Respect the hustle, buddy. (laughs) Respect the hustle. I do do this, too. Some days are worse than others. Do, do. 
I did that on purpose. Wah, wah. Some days are worse than others, and I'm in the bathroom for like 30 minutes or so. That's pretty crazy. Today was a pretty bad day, and I was in the bathroom for a while. <laughs> I had already finished the majority of my work for the day, and it was only 11 a.m. While I was in the bathroom, I get a text from my boss that says, where are you? I'm so sorry. Like, I don't go use the bathroom almost every day in the morning. Naturally, I don't respond because I'm not going to be like, no worries, just in here taking a fat old shit. <laughs> Does it say that? Yeah. The fat old shit. This is, ri- this is such a Christian, like... I don't believe you didn't write this. <laughs> I finally get out and I think... <laughs> I finally get out and think sub 45 minutes. And she's like, where are you? And I'm I so replied with, I was in the bathroom. She goes, you were in there for a really long time. For yeah. And I respond, I don't think it was that long. Yeah, that's a long time. And like that was the end of the conversation, but she was obviously pissed off about it and couldn't really say anything else. So yeah, <clears throat> what's your average poo time while on the clock? <laughs> and this does sound like me now. For my longtime fans, I'm no longer working at the church and I'm at a new public company. Nobody here knows I smoke weed. I haven't been told I smell like it either. It's been four months since I started. What an insane little addition at the end, buddy. How are how are people longtime fans if you used to work at a church and now you're posting in a completely different community for accounting? Yeah. Uh, he dude. could have been an accountant for How many church? followers does this fucking guy have on Reddit? He, you, you slash finger man is popping on Reddit. Oh, I don't like that name. What if he's Jamaican and it was pronounced Fingaman? Is that better? Is that better? No. Okay, I was just asking. Is it worse or just like equal? Mm. Okay, it says a lot. Uh, So I think maybe this puts more into perspective the first story. If you're known as the office shitter Mm. and then you, and then so I'm walking into past the office shitter to get into my office and my office smells like shit. And then I ask the office shitter, why does it smell like shit in here? And they go, you don't want to know. Now I think he's shit in the office. Okay. Okay. You were right. Like you pulled a prank on me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a little shard. I'm, There's go- shit I'm, in my drawers. I'm, if the office shitter smells like shit, I'm skipping past fart and thinking you shit in the office. And now I get that it smells so bad, I'm going to have to send you home. Clearly, you're shitting your pants, dude. Yeah. You haven't been here that long. We can all tell you smoke weed and you're shitting your pants. <laughs> Yo, you can't see how many followers people have on Reddit? I guess not. He's only got 2,000 karma. He can't have that many followers. He's got fans. He, no. Fan? We're fans. We'll say that. I'm, I'm a fan. Saying, all I'm saying is that he maybe he's a frequent poster in r slash accounting. Yeah. yeah. That Mostly he is an accountant shitty. that was an accountant for a church, you know, hiding all the I tax forgot. evasion <laughs> well, you and the money to, laundering. Not, and technically you don't tax need evasion. to do tax evasion. It's a church. <laughs> They're a tax exempt entity. All I'm saying is you don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Okay. I'm saying he's got to hide some things. Okay. I forgot the churches do need accountants. Account- accountants. Accountants? Accountants. Incontinence. Penitents. Incontinence. Thank you. <laughs> Next story, tight. So- Next story, tight sewed. Uh, you can use my first name, Ashley. Hi, judges. Started Hello. listening when I was pregnant in April of 2021. Congratulations Pretty on sure your baby. some credit is due to y'all for her awesome sense of humor as I was constantly laughing during my pregnancy. You're April was our, That was our first blow up on TikTok, April 2021. Hmm. I very quickly got caught up and listened to every episode since. Plug in the pod to anyone who will give me the time of day. Thank I you. off screen, uh, screenshot stories to send in, but I always chicken out. But this one... Why do, how do you chicken out from screenshotting stories? I just couldn't pass up. Maybe she screenshots them, but she chickens out from She goes, it's them. not a good enough story. But yeah, but like, what's the downside... We think that Ashley has a bad sense of humor. I do. There is f- four folders in our email. It's inbox. Like, I haven't read them yet. Josh to read. Those okay. are all the cool people. Yeah. Listener submissions. Those are normal. And then big, dumb, stupid, idiot fans who thought this was a good story to send in. AKA that one's filling up. Josh already read them. <laughs> Just kidding. This one I couldn't pass up. It instantly made me think, man, this guy must have some poopy butt cheeks. Hopefully you read this on the podcast. So... Everyone's disgusted, so I can see everyone's disgusted reaction. Do you hate me? <laughs> Do you just think I enjoy posting TikToks that get 8,000 views <laughs> for my episodes? You think I enjoy spending 
hours of time editing TikToks <laughs> for me to post okay. at 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. every day okay. to get 8,000 views because okay. nobody wants to hear a shit story at 9 a.m. That's fair enough. Um, um, thank so you for funny. all the laughs over the years. Wishing you all continued success with the podcast. You all deserve it. Thank you. Love thank Piss you. Baby Ashley. I I, I got to tell you, Josh, you're going to be mad about this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Have we already had a Oops All Poops? Bruh, maybe not titled Oops All Poops. Well. There we go. How do I get my 30... <laughs> Uh, how do I get my 30 female boyfriend, 31 male, to stop peeing and pooping on the toilet seat? Okay. I, 30 female. Hey, bud. You need to leave him. I, 30 female, just moved in with my long-term boyfriend. How old was he? 31 male. Okay. Too old to be pissing and shitting on a toilet seat. Correct. I noticed that he forgets to lift the seat when he pees and sometimes forgets to wipe. Forgets. Forgets. In, <laughs> in quotes here. Oh, wipe the seat. I assume it's got to be the seat. It's gotta be it's like... same sentence. So. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to assume. I'm not going but to like, assume. I, the, only thing, the only reason why I can assume it is because how would she know if he forgets to wipe his asshole? You know what I mean? Well, she goes to eat it and it's... <laughs> oh, my God. You think Poopy. she's even tried... It's a long term... Okay, maybe. Hey. Maybe. Different strokes for different folks. But Maybe. Maybe. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I would never do that to you. I just want you to know, if I have poopy butt cheeks, I would never oh. demand that of you. I, I thought you were saying it would. Hey. But late. Hey. Sorry. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> but lately, because he's a bigger dude, the way he fits on the seat, I guess his butt is too big and he gets shit all over the back of the toilet seat. And that's not why, but hey, I understand the plies of small toilet seats. Small toilet seats. Get rid of them. Get with the get with the times. Sometimes I just don't put the seat down just to help me have more room to shit in. Really? No, that not really. So it uncomfortable. Of, yeah, no, of course not. It's unstable. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like uh, it's like less surface area, and it's gonna feel like the bowl of the toilet's so thin. It's it's gonna really give you some some uh, dead legs when you try to stand mm -hmm. up. You're cutting off the carotid. Yeah, carotid. Nope. No, the uh, fem femoral. Yes. So. We keep fighting about. I don't know how also, you. I don't know how you shit, but I normally tie a little thing around the neck. Oh, I mean, if that's what you're into, <laughs> the femoral is in the interior thigh, right? Not the. <laughs> you don't interior. see how I sit on <laughs> toilets. I cross my legs while I shit. Okay. We keep fighting about it because when I ask him to come clean, he just starts yelling, saying, "It was an accident. Don't be a <laughs> nagging bitch about this." Totally normal response. But I this... think if you ever said "Don't be a nagging bitch" to me, that I would, I think I'd end it. What if you were being a nagging bitch? D no way. Listen, this I never... can say, "Hey, I'm sorry, I'm being a nagging bitch about yeah. this," and you can be like, "Okay." <laughs> hey, you said it, sister. <laughs> but you can't call me a nagging bitch. Absolutely, not. I would never. I know you wouldn't. But this but if you do, be warned. But this accident, it just keeps happening. We had this big fight over over it two times already where we are yelling and screaming at each other. He doesn't that's even crazy. wash his hands after he poops. Fucked up. I think that's the, least, that's the least of the concerns here. What? Um, okay. Like, <laughs> hey, you should have led yeah. with She's that. got a checklist here. <laughs> he hasn't brushed his teeth since May. That's a really... And he doesn't do any of the cleaning around the house. We just bought this house together. So it's a little ah. more complicated than just leaving. You bought property with a with a partner that you're not even like married to? Yeah. That doesn't wash his own teeth? Wash his teeth. What the hell? Brush his teeth? I Dude. hate this so much. <laughs> the <wa> <laughs> oh, the water runs over him excuse, but for your teeth instead of Ew. instead of your back. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I drink water. <laughs> it cleans my mouth. It goes through my teeth. Ew. Uh, it's more complicated than just leaving. But what can I do to help him care about his hygiene and the cleanliness of our house? Uh, don't go anywhere near him. You, uh, you got, I mean, that, that's that got to be either, that's a fix or leave situation. That's a leave situation. Yeah. For sure. You get your finances in order and I can't believe you bought fucking contact property. a lawyer. That's crazy. I I in don't this know economy? How, I don't know how you got to the point of buying a house and moving in together with yeah. not knowing these are all issues. Yeah. Well, there are yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. some cultures where like uh like it's uncouth to live with people before you're married, right? Yeah. 
And so maybe it was something like that where it's like they're, you know, their mindset was like, we're not going to move in together at all. And then instead, but obviously the marriage didn't come, but maybe it was like, well, we'll just buy a house and then we'll just like, you know, cheat code it. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. But who knows? Yeah. I don't know. That's crazy to buy a house, somebody that you haven't lived with before to notice this kind of shit. This is why you fucking move in before you get married. Mm -hmm. True. Because, you know, if you imagine getting married and then buying a house and then you have to deal with this. Uh, Yeah, I did. What the hell? I deal with this every day. It's why I am still here. I I like it. Mm. Correcting me about wiping my butt and sitting on the toilet Mm. wrong. No, I don't have to do that because you're a grown ass man. Sometimes. Sometimes. And hey, sometimes we go to an ad break. Sometimes. Bye. And we're back from the break. I'm going to leave that in, but... No! No, 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 no. Let me explain. It's going to be like the shell-shocked bit that Christian did when you were like, cut the story, and it just like, is going to be on me, and I'm just going to be like this, and it's just going to be like that ringing, like... And you guys will never know what was said. Uh, context clues? They'll figure it out. Okay. <laughs> but they'll never know what was said. <laughs> Thank you. I can't wait for you to... Tell me about that circle jerk. Perfect, Christian. If you're not, if you're new here, potentially, uh, we just gained Instagram followers for the first time in a long time. Oh, really? did we? Yeah, we like shot to sixty six thousand, and we've been stuck there. And now we're, I think we've gained like two thousand in the past like day or two. So, oh. are we almost at sixty nine thousand? Uh, Pretty close. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you're new here, the circle jerks, we just kind of mess around. The rest of the show was very structured and very serious. This is of course, and the str- the circle jerks where we sort of let loose. Oh, I mean, we are professionals. This but is fucked up because <laughs> this week's circle jerk is brought to yours truly, dearly. And I take circle jerks very seriously. I feel like you guys just fuck around and you think I come in with bad, goofy ideas or something. Nobody I'm said, trying to talk about serious shit here, Josh. Nobody said bad or goofy. What did you say? I wasn't listening. <laughs> This week's circle judge is called Pondering with Pissy. Ooh. Okay. Vaya, if you ever uh, re-sponsor us, I, I'll throw you an entire segment next time, dog. Oh, Pondering with Pissy <laughs> brought to you by Vaya Hemp. Yep. We'll bleep it, that one. But it could be brought to you by Vaya Hemp. I think we just say it and we say, please, 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 please. So these are all uh, mostly shower thoughts I've had while using Vaya products. Which is the CBD, THD, hemp derived company, right? One bunch of shit. The one that I was fucked up on. That's the one you were elevated. They go absolutely fucking nutty with it. Let me tell you, I've tried some more. They they knock it out of the park. Guys, what sense do you think is like the most enjoyable? Like, do you think there's like a scientific research on which of the five senses like releases the most? Not where I thought he was going with that either. Okay. Well, first I thought money, and then I thought smells. I was going, <laughs> smells was my yeah. first thought. Is dopamine the happy brain chemical? Yeah. yeah. Or serotonin. What's the difference? I don't give a shit. Oh, uh, yeah. There's a... Either one. Um, Dopamine's a happy one. Which, serotonin is the love one. Which sense do you think is, like, <laughs> dropping the most? That's actually tells and fuck. <laughs> What's serotonin do? Uh, I mean, serotonin is happy, but dopamine's like the, like, you do cocaine and you get all, like, Yeah, dopamine is cocaine. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> nose. Okay. Nose. Okay. <laughs> I mean, are you smelling the which coke? one is a hair? Which one is black tar heroin? Which sense Touch. is that? <laughs> Whatever one is black tar heroin, I think. What do you think? One of the five. I'm gonna go with taste. I I for for happiness, um, heat. Okay. If we're going outside of the, the normal like five senses, there's way more than five sen- senses. Yeah. But feeling heat is is. I was joking. A touch. Hot. Oh. Okay. No, no. He, heat sensors is different than than touch, like tensile. Yeah. Hmm. It kind of fucks me up that you you used one of the not five because I was gonna come with the secret six and say proprioception, and you guys would be like, "What the fuck's that?" And I'm like, like knowing where your body part is. Yeah, in it makes to me the very body. happy to know where my hands are in relation to the rest of my body. <laughs> you do. This isn't the first time that you mentioned this on the podcast, which is how much you love the uh, the body homunculus or whatever. Yes. Yeah. Uh, 
Do we think more cults start at a farmer's market than anywhere else? Wait, what was the... F- oh, your the question was... You just pondered, which I thought you were going to give us an answer. Fuck no, I'm not uh, doing research. <laughs> on which sense? I was high, Josh. <laughs> okay, let me actually, I thought we were just maybe making a ha funny. Do I need to actually answer these? If nobody's done the research, I just wrote you a fucking thesis, okay. somebody. Can I say if you think, if you get the most joy out of sight, weird. We, yeah, boo. I can see hearing. Okay. Or you can hear I it. I can see hearing. What the <laughs> hell? I can see hearing being up there. Taste, I also feel like, is a weird one to be like, it's no. the best one. Food? Think of all, like, how happy some certain foods make you. I think taste is a really good, like, two. No, like a number two. I think I think uh, touch has got to be it for me, for real, though. Okay. okay. I Yeah. I, I definitely think that touch and taste are very, yeah. very close. I think, personally, for me, it's probably taste. I just think of, like... You know, well, we're lemon, foodies. Lemon I take pie. It, I, we're ew, foodies. No. <laughs> we're foodies. I take it back. I think touch is definitely number one. You're yeah. right. Just think about like your butthole getting touched. And you're like, yeah, that's... <laughs> back to taste. Now imagine if you were tasting your butthole. <laughs> Wait, tasting I say your taste because I'm a footy. Yeah. Like some ass to mouth situation? Your mouth to your ass somehow. Ouroboros style. <laughs> okay. I'm not that flexible. Now imagine smelling your own asshole. All right, now imagine a farmer's market. <laughs> Cult, you joining? Coward? Well, let me ask you this. Really good honey. Raw, I local. I don't really like honey. Gets rid of so your allergies. That's... Maybe, I don't know. I've heard people say that. Um, I don't really care for honey, so I'm not doing Except <sighs> PayPal Jams. honey. Use code judges. PayPalhoney.com slash judges. We're double adding in this section. Yes, no. Do we think farmer markets are a source for cults to gain a no, followership? No, I think the average age for farmer's market is too old to be cult. Incorrect. You're wrong. You're going to the wrong farmer market. I've never been to one. I was a thought. Oh, well, you're wrong. <laughs> really? More of a young people, experiment Young then? people go oh. to cults? I mean, yes, but the <laughs> farmer's market? The farmer's market in Carbondale? Great. But, but, Great stuff. But where are we talking about age wise? Of, of the late twenties, early thirties. Uh, prime I mean, cult. I think That's it, prime cult age. I well, yes. But You're I think lost it, in life. What do you need? Oh, the farmer market man. Tell me how to live my life. <laughs> Maybe, but I think it varies. I think you've got like younger people, and and old. I think there's a very wide range I, here. I thought there was some stat that like the most likely. This might be just me making something up. Never, not once. Really big preface on this one. Uh, Still get pregnant. I'm pretty sure that I saw something about like one of the most likely places to get into get hit by a car is at a farmer's market because all the old fucks that go there and don't know how to drive. Dude, anywhere. that makes so much sense. And they're always like off a road. Like, yeah, that makes sense. Hey, nah. hey, don't hey. look it up. <laughs> uh, I'm yes. just saying that farmers markets are dope, and I wish that our farmers market is on Tuesdays from like four to six p.m. Only when old people can go. Yeah. Well, I'm saying that our town should move their yeah farmers markets to a Saturday morning, like every other place in the fucking world. That's what my cartoons are. Or I, like you can still have the Tuesday one. Have one a month on a Saturday. Jesus Christ, give me a break here. Our farmers I want to get some raw local honey. Round. I'm trying to get rid of my allergies. <laughs> just, get, just order it on Amazon. That's not local. It needs to be local, dude. It has to be to my local allergies. Your local pollens. Fuck. How old do we think the using the phrase of calling somebody hot is? Oh. Like, damn, they're hot. The specific word hot? Just be like, like the colloquialism damn. meaning hot is sexy. Yeah. That's interesting. It's going back to the Venn diagram. It, does, it doesn't feel very like Italian or French or yeah. like even like uh, Latin. Like, so I don't know. That's because if you if you think of like movies from the 40s and 50s or like the 20, like any period piece from that's the 1900s. Bang, see? Yeah. No, they would be like, well, that's they would say that's one hot mama in this in the 70s, I guess. Right. Or okay. 60s, the greasers. But I feel like I feel like they would just be like, oh, your girl's got some nice legs on her. You know, like that kind of stuff. Yeah. Tall glass of water. Oh, yeah. Tall drink of water. I feel like it's got to be like since like the 50s ish, which is strange. Do we, 
do we think 1900s though yeah for sure because i feel like this could be a crazy one like fuck where it's like did you know fuck originated in 1329 and it's like what the fuck the first published use of hot as substitute for attractive was in 1926 okay okay i saw th- <laughs> the term has been used in a similar fashion since the 13th century 1200s pretty huh? fucking close with that guess huh that's kind of naughty do you think like it's in, in the bible somewhere then <laughs> abraham was like fuck she's so hot no don't make me kill my only son he's so fucking hot <laughs> oh my god oh i can't talk about biblical figure what are we all christians or J- uh jewish in here like what's yeah. going on well that part's in the jewish part of the bible it's still the bible what's going on I'm None not of against us are religious you. in this room, right? I'm not against you, no. Josh. I'm on board with you. All I think saying, I would have a little bit harder of a time if my son was hot. I would have a little bit harder of a time sacrificing <laughs> to my Lord and Savior. It'd be a little bit easier to kill your son if he was a fucking three. If he was a, <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Not, Jesus Christ. We're not saying it's easy. It's just easier. I mean, what are... Especially back in those days, like, everybody's rocking at a three, and then you have a hot son? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let's keep these jeans going, buddy. Back in those days. Everybody was fucked up. There's no, there's no fixing anything. You came out, you're blind, you're just fucking blind. Why do you think they Your did sodomy? You didn't have to look at their face. I don't know how they're doing circumcisions back then. Add this to the pond earth pissy. How is that in the Bible? How have they been doing circumcisions for How did they not get infected? Years? That's what I mean. And why were they, they eating what it? Tools? They did. Why get were they infected. eating the everybody's the dicks just fucked? They're at the bris. Like why are they eating the foreskin? Well, it's like a it's like a funyun. <laughs> <laughs> this whole Does listen, fancy shampoo actually do anything or is that just marketing gimmick by Big Poo? Big Poo. Keep going. <laughs> Moving on from that one, we need to be done with Wait, the circle jerk. Fancy turns. shampoo, a oh, big poo sham shortening for shampoo. Okay, because uh, I feel I like forgot I- the question. <laughs> Say it again. Do fancy shampoos actually do anything, or is it just like a marketing gimmick? No, they. I do believe they actually do something, but I think there is a very fast, um, uh, uh, like shrinking of like ROI. Like it's a very like if you get bottom of the barrel shampoo and then you get like the tear up, it's here. And it has like that, okay. It plat- diminishing plat- returns, okay. yeah. Where it's like, if you're paying like a thousand dollar shampoo, isn't that much better than like a hundred dollar shampoo? Okay. But like a ten dollar shampoo compared to a hundred dollar shampoo, okay, pretty big difference. And then also, are shampoos FDA approved or what the fuck's going on with shampoos? They're just putting whatever the fuck they want on your head. Uh, I don't think it's gotta be. FDA. I don't think soap. Yeah, soaps. I don't think they have to be FDA approved. I think our audience member is googling. Do we, we need a producer so bad. I know. Yeah. Um, final question. Hopefully, she can find something quick enough. Are we making new candies and new candy flavors, or is that just left behind in the early two <laughs> thousands? We really peaked with blue raspberry. They said no more. Buds. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> they came up with a made up flavor, and they're just like, no more made up flavors. Now they're dude. just add caramel to it, and this is the new candy. Yeah, it feels. It. I don't blue know how raspberry to... and caramel. Oh well, no, that no, sounds just, awful. I'd try it. I would try it. Of course, um, you two would. <laughs> what the hell? Go ahead. I just. Oh, go. You got an answer. Cosmetic products and ingredients do not need FDA pre-market approval, with the exception of color additives. However, the FDA can pursue enforcement on something if it doesn't follow certain rules after the fact. So it can still get on the market. So okay, it, 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 but if it makes all my hair fall out, FDA can step in. To be yeah. fair, also the fucking that TikTok lady that sold that pink fucking condiment. Oh yeah, was able to just sell her shit because she was just like a a bespoke seller. Yeah, or okay. not? Bes- is that the word? I'm- yeah, yeah. Where it's like. Because she wasn't doing it as a company, you could just sell whatever the fuck you want in your food. Yeah. So I don't think the FDA is very uh, efficient at their job, believe it or not. Fair enough. But yeah, no, back to candy flavors. Like, I feel like... All I'm saying is Candyland needs an expansion. Where are they going to get that? I just had a dream last night that my old boss gifted me Candyland the game. And I was like, wow, I've got so many board games. And that's like one I don't have. That's so fucking weird and random. We don't need it. It's a bad game. The bad game. I guess it's made for babies. So it makes sense that it's a bad game made for babies. No, Candyland's actually. I I like Candyland. You don't? I do. Oh, okay. When's the last time you guys played Candyland? How similar is Candyland to Shoots and Ladders? Because to me, it's just Shoots and Ladders, but with candy on it. 
Yeah. Sounds sick. I'm in. Yeah. Escalators, escalators. Do you even get the? Are there shortcuts in Candyland? It's you literally just roll or draw a card and you just go to whatever the fucking color of the card was. Yeah, but if you land on the card, I'm pretty sure you skip. And you can slide down the mud slide, chocolate river slide, something like that. I don't. Oh, here's my. I'm back on my thought here. I feel like candies have really gone the way of uh, the movie industry. I feel like um, sure. back in the early 2000s, 90s, we were really experimenting with movies, and then they kind of hit it with the superhero movies. And now they're just like bunch of remixes. Keep doing you, superhero movies. Are you? Telling- and candy bars are just like, hey, we did Kit Kats. What if we did? Kit Kat Snickers, and then it's like, we're just doing the same shit with more... Have you seen the blueberry Kit Kats? No. Is this real? Yeah, it's white chocolate. I was about to say, is it white chocolate? But it's still, they added blue raspberry to Kit Kats. I wasn't wrong. Hmm. Are you telling me capitalism doesn't actually breed uh, innovation? Is that what you're telling me right now? Hmm. Is that what you're telling me, that we've reached the point to where capitalism is no longer breeding innovation? Hmm. We might be. Weird. Is that why every single corporate building is gray? Is that why McDonald's, the notoriously red and yellow thing, is now just gray? What? Yeah, what happened to McDonald's and fucking Walmarts? Our Walmart was like this beautiful building. It was like natural stones, and then they came in and painted it fucking gray. It was not beautiful. <laughs> For a Walmart? It's fucking <laughs> like cinder blocks. Shut the fuck. <laughs> Go look at our old Walmart compared to our new Walmart and yeah. be like, no, oh, this right. one is better. If you look like an old, like any anything that was built pre like 2005, everything's just gray now. The bottom was like no, stones I- and the top was cinder block, but it, now I- it's just white. I agree with you that <laughs> it's uglier now. Yeah. But to say that it was beautiful before. Well, everybody used to be a, a three. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Back in the day. When <laughs> I'm saying in biblical times, I would for sure sacrifice our current Walmart. I would have a really hard time. I thought you were about Walmart. to say sacrifice our current son, and oh, no, I was about to be real gorgeous. mad at you. He's Your a son's a boy. lot he, more beautiful he than is the old Walmart. Def- I would have a real hard time sacrificing him. <laughs> Great. <laughs> what if God I, told I you to? I'd to know it. I'd have a little hesitation. I'm hope. I'm hoping like. I'm hoping an angel please, comes. Please, 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 please. <laughs> tell me stop. Tell me stop. Tell me stop. <laughs> so what happens in the Bible? What? I don't know why I'm getting roasted right now with these looks. You're getting Tight absolutely sewed. crucified. Tight sewed. <sighs> Listen to some minute sound. <laughs> <laughs> We're going right into it. Yes. This listener submitted sound is sent to us by uh, Amanda, and it's about. Hi, Judge. I'm Amanda. Guess you could probs use my name. Hi. Well, it's not that uncommon of a name. I think we'll be fine. I don't know how to isolate sound from a video, so here's the video too. This is a white-handed gibbon. She's 50 years old. She's con- confiscated from someone who stole her f- from her mother as a baby. And was kept as a pet illegally. I can't believe Fuckers. Gibbons lived to be 50. I was thinking the same thing. She was hand reared and is the sweetest little lady. She has a. Hang on. She has an extra arm off of her butt. Joshua. Where's my parrot? I haven't seen that bitch in a while. I have a sound for this. Since she's so old, she can't reach her really high notes and her calls that Gibbons are known for, but she tries her best. I feel like that's a positive thing. Well, for us. And right, yeah. Hey, <laughs> here's the gibbon noise for everybody. <laughs> Tight episode. You're fucking up the flow, guys. And it's not loading. This is fucked. <laughs> this is so fucked. It's just sitting. It's just spinning. <laughs> What's my, going on with your internet? My internet has been bad recently. I don't know why. Capitalism. Oh my god. <laughs> She's so right, folks. Dude, what? It, and then I also don't have cell signal. What is going on here? I'm getting fucking. Here we go. Never mind. <laughs> And that's a Gibbon. Thanks for giving us that sound submission. If you want to do that Boo. over at judgespot.gmail.com, just put listeners a bit sound of the title. My internet says it's going good, so I don't know. I don't know what was happening. I had to... Gotta be <clears throat> smarter than what you're working with. <sighs> Listener submitted story. Today I fucked up by shooting my pants at work. <laughs> 
I judge you as my Did you name. look at the one that I told you to look at? I forgot. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I'll read it on the bonus episode. Uh, no, you won't, because it's my bonus episode. Yeah, but we're doing two today. Yeah. Okay. Two a days. Uh, hiya, Judgy. Hello. Hello. You can use my made up name. Uh, Did they give us their own Carol. Made up, made she up heard. Name? Yeah. Nice. Oh. My name's Carol. She her, but you can call me Carol. And I've been listening to the pod since episode 36. OG Piss Babies Rise Up. 36 is crazy. That's a very crazy one. Can I just say that more people should give, a, if you don't want us to use our, your name, give us a fake name? I think that's fun. Give me your own fake name. What do you want to be? Seymour Butts. <laughs> we'll call you Seymour. <laughs> I even put my best friend on the show. You guys have... Uh, to you guys and have been wanting to submit a story because you guys never failed to make me laugh so i feel like it was only if i return the favor tight so i thought you guys might get a kick out of my shame and embarrassment sorry for how long this bitch is i'm neurodivergent so i have to provide too much detail sometimes love you now enjoy today i fucked up by shooting my pants at work this happened in 2020 i'm so embarrassed i can't even remember the exact um, whatever you said 2020 i was 22 female my boyfriend 25 male let me set the scene for you michael is his name we're working together uh as assistant managers at the yankee candle store very because... ironic to be working at a yankee candle store in 2020 <laughs> uh yeah i forgot about all that they stopped smelling as good what the fuck is up with that we often work shifts either together or near each other so we would always carpool if there was a bit of a gap between our shifts starting, whoever was scheduled second would just usually wait in the car and hang out before going in. We always parked in the back lot, which is far away because of company policy. And we always had to walk all the way through the mall, which is this long ass hallway that led into. We had to walk through a long ass hallway that led into the actual mall and then walk through it. Yeah, we've all been in the back hallways of a mall. Mm -hmm. We all understand what a mall is. Mm hmm. On this they're, beautiful. they're beautiful. They used to be. They used to be. Back in 2020. Before they started painting them. On this fateful day, I was opening the store. So I went in at 9 a.m. While my boyfriend sat in the car till his shift at 1030. I have IBS and was only diagnosed last year. So I had no idea at this point what my triggers were. Not girl problems. It turns out it was Chick-fil-A breakfast. Which I mean specifically i had that morning do you have to have ibs to have chick-fil-a breakfast get you acting up I don't, i've never had chick-fil-a breakfast i, don't I just know. assume it's just a greasy breakfast honestly i can't even think of the last time i had chick-fil-a is chick-fil-a greasy or is it it's fried chicken well, we don't support chick-fil-a so fair enough it's fried chicken fair enough i mean i've only had chick-fil-a once so I... it. so there i am <laughs> 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 you heard him folks get him this week. <laughs> so there I am getting the store ready for this super busy mid pandemic weekday opening shift when I start to feel <laughs> the gurgles. Why is an in person candle store open during the pandemic? I look at the clock, see that is only a minute or two until 10 a.m. So I think, well, I have to open the doors at 10, so I don't have time to go to the bathroom. But I didn't even have to go that bad yet, so I'll be fine until Michael gets here. If you're thinking to yourself, hey, Carol, this sounds like a bad idea. Bad idea. You should just use the bathroom before you open the doors and just yes. open the door. Open the store a few minutes late. Yep. In case you're not able to hold it until Michael gets there. Well, you would have been wiser than me. Uh, I had the exact argument in my head and thought, nah, I'll just open the doors. No one's going to come in anyway, so it's always super dead this time of day. And I'll just run to the bathroom if I really need to. And then What's someone going to do? Fucking pocket some Yankee candles? Oh, no, you're out $3. Yankee candles are expensive. Wow. Oh, are they expensive? Yeah, they're like 20 bucks. $3 for you, money bags. <laughs> I guess I guess in my mind, Yankee candles are cheap. No. I thought, like, I, I when I always felt bougie whenever I bought a Woodwick, you know? True. I mean, like, a, uh, the big candles at, like, Bath and Body Works are still 24 what is that mo fuck? are you saying that to be like 
that's the more Yankee, or less. Yankee candles are like a higher end. Really? Versus like Bath and Body Works would be a lower end. And the three wick candles at Bath and Body are like 25 bucks. Whoa. I always thought Yankee candles were like shitty candles. How about that? I don't think so. No. Huh. Just goes to show you how much I know about candles. Is Yankee candles an MLM? Oh, no. I. I think I've always thought it was. That's mm-hmm. why I thought they were shitty candles. Okay. The soybean candles that you use are probably an MLM. Probably got them from the far- local farmer's market. Probably weren't actually locally made. They're probably an MLM. They say local, honey, but it's not actually. It ain't it's local, not. honey. After 10 seconds of opening the door, a family of five walk in and just start shopping around. Because God <laughs> likes to test me at this precise moment, my GI tracks are trying to started to tie itself into a balloon animal and I needed to I knew I needed to go to the bathroom in the next few minutes or disaster is gonna strike. That's what IBS stands for. For what? I, I better bu- shit. I balloon shape. <laughs> okay. I better shit. <laughs> it was one of those where I was too scared to move around in case one wrong Ooh, flex of a muscle would release an unholy worst. flash flood. Yeah. So I just stood behind the count the cash register and immediately texted Michael asking him to come in as early as possible to save myself from this horror movie I suddenly found myself in. Yep. If you remember, Michael was just sitting in the car and would have to walk this long walk to the store. It'd at least take him a few minutes to get here. Precious minutes that I don't think I had to waste. I'm blowing up his phone at this point, begging for him to run to the store because I was about to commit a war crime against this poor family that just came in to smell some candles, not suffer chemical warfare. I'm literally watching the seconds tick by on my clock, sweating profusely from both the pain from my intestines, mm-hmm. begging to be released from whatever demons possessing my po- my bowels, and from the effort of squeezing my, a- my ass cheeks together in an attempt to maintain whatever dignity I had left at this point. I think this would be a good time to let you know I have some hemorrhoids too. <laughs> so Oof. pooping is usually a bit painful, especially when I'm having an IBS flare-up. Yeah. Now the effort of holding my sphincter as tight as humanly possible is causing me even more pain. My knees are about to buckle. I didn't think I was going to stay conscious at this point because I was being attacked from three sides. Lock the knees, pass out, (laughs) shit yourself. (laughs) Give yourself a concussion. (laughs) At long last, I see my salvation. My knight in shining business casual walks past one of the (laughs) store windows. I could have cried. I was so relieved. Until I noticed how fucking slow this asshole is walking towards the entrance. (laughs) And then at that exact moment that his foot crossed the threshold, I lost what little control I had maintained up to that point. No. My asshole betrayed me in the worst <laughs> way imaginable. Do we think do we think they have a scat thing? Did and he do it on purpose? He's the no, he's the he's setting off he's her purposely poisoning her to no, set no, off no, her no. IBS. No no. They have a scat fetish, and so she frequently shits on him. And so he's kind of like a walking toilet. Sphinctar. And so his sphinct- her sphincter was going off as he got closer. Sphincter went off. <laughs> <laughs> He's Listen, like home. Maybe, <laughs> but... His arms are home. It, one of two things are true. <laughs> Either the thing I said, or she just lost control of her bowels. Mm-hmm. She had that that uh, serotonin, oxy- or what is it? Oxytocin, <laughs> dopamine release that yeah. relaxed her. Dumpamine, yeah. Dumpamine. Is shitting in a sense... <laughs> We'll shitting talk about this incense. later. The force at which I shit myself was a so sense. strong and so powerful. One, one of the sixth senses. Five senses? How many senses are there? Oh, it's I see dead poo poo. <laughs> what a, a sound, bud. <laughs> the force at which I shit myself was so strong and so painful. My oh. immediate thought was something just ruptured. That's oh, blood no. that just came out of me. <gasps> oh. It has to be blood. My heart had been pounding so hard I couldn't even he- I couldn't even hear if it had made any noise when my body began to give out on itself. I didn't even wait for Michael to clock in or put his bag down. I just ran to the back and unleashed holy hell on this tiny employee bathroom. As it turns out, it wasn't blood in my underwear. Oh, good. It was actual shit. I mean, that's not good, yeah. but it's Pros- better than blood. <laughs> Pros and cons, I guess. I had to find a small trash bag and put my shame-covered undergarments in it and find a discreet way to get rid of it because... There's no saving that disgrace. So I did my best to clean myself up and pulled my thankfully unscathed jeans uh, back up and had to commit. Shout out the underwear brand, girl. (laughs) And I had to commit to going commando for the remainder of my shift. In jeans. Oof. 
it's rough. When I finally mustered up the courage to walk back out and face the family who had 100% seen my frantic sprint into the back, I was sim simultaneously delighted and horrified to see that they were no longer in the store. To this day, I don't know if they left because they heard or smelled my... No. Uh, the self-exorcism I just performed, or if they had just <laughs> left because they're done looking around. Probably that one. I pray to whatever God is listening that is the latter, because like I said, this was in the middle of the pandemic, so everyone was wearing masks. And the candles are really all you could smell while you're walking around in that store. Or they walked in, realized that they couldn't smell any of the candles, and they were like, we should probably leave. Uh-oh. Uh, hopefully... My shit was masked by the hundreds of candles and the other fragrance products that we had in there. Probably. Was, I guess in my mind, I'm thinking it was like a back room bathroom mm. because it's a mall. But it could have, I guess it could have been like a bathroom attached to the store. Yeah. And so that door is at the store. Otherwise, if it's not like that, then no. there's no way they so, they could smell it. She said ran to the back and used the employee right. bathroom. So there's no so. way they smelled your shit. But when she shit her pants out on the floor, though. Yeah. Pants shit doesn't smell as bad. I feel That's like. That's true. What still keeps me up at night sometimes is the fact that I have no idea if I farted or made some sort of noise when it happened. Oh. There's always the possibility that even if they didn't smell it, they, they heard, heard it. it. Yeah. Anywho, whoop de woo. Sorry again for the long story, but I figured my pain could at least do some good and make you guys chuckle. Whoa. Thanks for being such a cool peeps. Hugs and pisses, Carol. Thanks, Carol. Thanks, Carol. Did she actually use whoop de woo? Yeah. Oh. How about that? That's so fun. Anywho, whoop de woo. <laughs> There's a PS on there, but I can't get us yeah. canceled. What? Read it and then we'll bleep it out. It's agreeing with you with Taylor Swift. Ah, coming from reason. coming from a longtime Swifty that believes that she is now just mid. Whoa, a reformed Swiftist. Yep, that's crazy. Yeah, I did get a lot of shit. I was reading the YouTube comments. YouTube comments went hard. They did, but I feel like there was still a lot of people in there supporting me as well. Yeah. I did have it was a hot take and I I probably well mostly was saying that she was garbage just to get a rise out of you guys. Yeah. I don't think she's garbage. We're called the judges. Yeah. I just don't give shit about her music. Yeah. I think to equate you saying that you don't like her music to being misogynistic is That was wild. It's just a crazy jump that so many people said. Yeah. yeah. It's like guys, I mean, what do you have give us a little bit of leeway here? Give us a little bit of the better for the doubt. <laughs> We're not just like secret. Mis You're not just like a secret you misogynist who's like dog whistling. Like I hate Taylor Swift. And <laughs> like, to say that I'm not a girls' girl because I don't like one woman's music. <laughs> she's a she's a fucking billionaire. Yeah, she, Taylor Swift will be okay. <laughs> I can't. Believe we're bringing this I'm up not saying quiet. you guys we're can't canceled. like her. That's fine for you. <laughs> I just couldn't believe that you had so many comments about what you said, and there wasn't a single one about what I said. Oh, I know. Well, that's because they all. They turned it off <laughs> they before they, you could say the shit you said. I was just like, how is there not a single one being like what Josh said is actually more angry to me? Which it <laughs> should be. Well, I guess not necessarily, but. Whatever. But Whatever. I did. I do need to make a correction from that. I did say uh, Dua Lipa's music when I was talking about how other pop music sounds similar. Yep. I didn't mean to say Dua Lipa. I meant to say Camille Cabello. But. Uh. On the same Not note, Sean Mendes, Camila Cabello, Sam Smith. Like, I feel like all pop music is just like the same thing now. It's crazy because I literally just had a conversation with Heather, who's in our audience, earlier today. Like, you haven't heard about Sean Mendes and Camila Cabello in a while. Are they still together? Are they up to something? Hey, if you ask Wendy Williams, it's because Sean Mendes is gay. And he was just using Camila Cabello as a beard. I mean, maybe. Interesting. But Interesting. I. Maybe Wendy's onto something. I think that Maybe. was it. Final, right, final story of the night. Tight so tight so tight so. This story comes in from Megan. Oh, I found this on Hello. a hilariously disgusting story on a Twilight shit posting Facebook page. Love that. Love Send the, the podcast. It's one of my favorites. And then they have the cup. Uh, the, this <laughs> mentioned in the story. Don't worry about it. It'll come up. <laughs> if this doesn't get approved, nothing I submit will. And I give up. Admins. I give you my Twilight New Moon Cup trauma. This is a quick one for us. New Moon, November 20th, 2009. I went to the midnight premiere and got this special cup that they sold. I was so excited and so happy. Fast forward to summer of 2010. I moved in with my then boyfriend at the time in a crappy old apartment. 
The apartment's water pressure was so bad that we had to use a cup to rinse off faster when we took a shower. That's oh. wild. That sucks. I also have kids, so it was helpful when they took baths. Okay. That, yeah. Well. Here's where <laughs> the Twilight cup cup? story gets traumatic, so proceed with caution. My brother's boyfriend came over with a friend to use our said crappy shower. Everything's fine, whatever. I go about my day. That's three degrees of separation from your household. Yeah. yeah. Brother's boyfriend's friend. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that person showering in your place? <laughs> I don't know. And uh, there could be a little more detail, whatever. Everything's fine and whatever. I go about my day, they shower, and then the friend leaves. Later that night, I'm in the shower and notice there's water left at the bottom of the cup. Now this cup is a black cup. I've attached a picture for reference. On the inside, it's It'd hard be, to differentiate the, the contents. It'd be weird if it wasn't a black cup. Right? Why? It's a twilight cup. What other color would you make a twilight cup? Make it clear, white, red? <sighs> no. Red would I would say red and black are the two. Black's got to be the go-to. Um blah blah blah. Sparkles it's hard it, to differentiate the contents. I think to myself, Oh, that water must be cold. I don't want to dump cold water on myself. So Fair. I dump it into the bottom of the shower. Okay. After I, I think if it, there was any water in there, I would dump it. Yes. Yeah. It's somebody else's rinse water. It's then after I dumped it that I realized it wasn't water. This was a literal cup of diarrhea. What the hell? Christian Cl- Roger Kleckner. <laughs> <laughs> Oops on poops. <laughs> what the hell? His brother's friend literally took a shit in my twila, Twilight New Moon cup inside of my shower. <laughs> Why? What the fuck? For R. what R. reason? to my Twilight New Moon premiere cup. Uh, That's whole, it? <laughs> That's it. It gives a whole new definition to Twilight shit posting. Yeah. Whew. Oh, man. You guys pretty, all right? That's pretty wild. That cup saw a new moon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a solid joke. I like the shit in that cup. <laughs> Stop. I really reached for that one, bud. It's no joke on that one. You just reached for it. Hey, if you want to see more, we're about to record a bonus episode I... over at patreon.com slash judges pod. Another it, hour. It's that my bonus down. episode. And, which so means no poop. Probably not going to have any poop. Way less poop. Arguably impossible to have more poop. I, I don't true. remember the stories I picked. So <laughs> please no shit. Please no shit. Please no shit. I can't right. guarantee there's not shit in it, but plug away. Oh, find us where a uh, judges pod at gmail.com at places on the internet. That you frequent. At Judges Pod all socials. At, on all social medias. Yep. If you go to that website, we probably have an account. You should check. Link tr.ee slash Judges Pod. No, we don't use Linktree anymore. We use fuck the other one. Linktree's still active. I really missed that one. Yeah, by a lot, but it's okay, though. Uh, hu- hugs and pisses. And kisses. Hugs, kisses, and kisses. Beacons.ai slash Judges Pod. How about that one? Have a good week. Have a wonderful week, everyone. We love you. Bye.